As she was losing her hair, of course, and it was thinning, the emotional side of just being completely helpless was something that my husband and I grappled with uh, the entire time. Um, with every, you know, every time you combed her hair and there would be a handful of hair coming out or after a shower or bath, uh, my heart would just break. You know, we hear so many of the stories of children that have lost their hair and got a wig and their life has been inspired and their self-esteem has been lifted up. But we also have also heard stories about children who've cut their ponytails and their life has been impacted. But what about the moms, the dads, the brothers and the sisters that live through this journey with these children? What do they experience? What are they going through? It's a part of the beautiful picture that We For Kids provides not only wigs, but we provide the care so that a parent who gives their child everything from medical you know, care to loving care, school and educational care, but can't give them hair again, that's where we come in and partner with them. So I'm going to introduce you to a beautiful, beautiful mother of a beautiful child of ours that's been with us for quite a few years. Hi, it's good to be here. My name is Verna Ann Kotansky, and I am the proud mother of Emily Kotansky, who has been a recipient of Wigs for Kids for, oh gosh, we were counting, I think since 2008, maybe. A lot of people don't realize that an alopecia, and we'll talk about that, that she has, an alopecia child needs a new hairpiece every year. Then they go to school, they play, they sports, and even the very expensive prosthetics that we create still need to be replaced on a yearly basis. And we provide that free each and every year because uh, they are needed and they're special and it's a part of our mission to do that. So tell us a little bit about first your daughter's condition and what she and how she experienced it. And then let's move into the story about mom and what she went through and maybe even throw some stories in about dad as well as we can. Emily began having small alopecia areata um, symptoms right around third grade. And it was after a stressful time in her life. And she was transitioning to a different school for the, her fourth grade year. And we thought we had it under control with topical creams. And during her fourth grade year, the crown of her head began to lose more and more thinning out. And so as all moms do, we need to make it better. Um, and so we began the combing over and all the different um, hairstyles that we could think of. And our beautician actually suggested to us to reach out to you and Wigs for Kids to see if there was something we could do. Um, as it began to proceed, we had our first appointment at the salon. We we're very fortunate to be uh, right in the same area so we could go to Jeffrey's salon to have uh, the consultation and from there began such an amazing uh, journey for our family and, and for Emily. Um, as she was losing her hair of course and it was thinning, um, the emotional side of just being completely helpless was something that my husband and I grappled with uh, the entire time. Um, with every you know, every time you combed her hair and there would be a handful of hair coming out or after a shower or a bath, um, your heart would just break. Um, and it wasn't until our first appointment that I was like, okay, okay, I can breathe now. It'll be okay. Um, because of course you're thinking the worst at all times. So that was the beginning of um, how we became part of the Weeks for Kids family. 